Okay, so we have spells and alchemy here. So the things that um, you manifested and um, you put together, uh, they're actually coming to fruition. Good things are going to be happening here. We have palmistry here. You can read palms or also it could be, you know, how you interpret things. Um, and what you think is all bad, there is always good there too as well so see and look how you interpret certain things that occur and that are happening here we have clouds mystical so your imagination is very important to here and you can be up in the cloud up in your mind uh floating heaven word too as well here uh, we have oracle wisdom you're very wise you could be an oracle here we have the book of knowledge here destiny uh, you could be destined to be an oracle. Uh, you can have a lot of knowledge within yourself too. Uh, again, because you very you are wise, you have a lot of wisdom too here. Um, we have mastery here, Agar. So yeah, uh, mastering self. Um, you know, stepping into your destiny, um, being that medium, being an open channel. Being a master oracle, um, being a master of knowledge here. Then we have handwriting, authenticity. So you ha there's power in your writing. Um, it's time for you to be true to yourself. It's time for you to show yourself. It's time for you to no longer hide. It's time for you to reveal who you are. Um, you could be a master at, you know, your handwriting, master at spells and, and alchemy and manifestation, a master at knowledge, you know, um, very powerful, very, very, very powerful here. Then we have the moon here. Check and see what sign is in your moon. Study that and look into that. It talks about your feelings, your mood, um, femininity. Your habits, your instinct, your soul, your past, uh, your dreams that you have here, and your lineage. And then we have here uh, the eighth house. Check and see what sign is in your eighth house. Uh, that talks about endings and beginnings, the occult, um, you know, mysteries. Uh, secrets, what's in the shadows, the underworld. And then we have your ascendant sign, um, your ascendant. Look into your chart. That's very important to look into your chart and see what placements you have here. Um, this talks about your first expression, uh, how the public looks at you, your aura, your approach, and your appearance and your role that you play and your style. Um, we have North Node here. See, you being that master and stepping into being the oracle and um, with the knowledge that you have and your imagination and your manifestations and being an alchemist and your handwriting, like, that is all your purpose. So check your north node um, and see what sign is there. We have here that talks about your journey, your karmic destiny. Uh, a learning period again gaining that knowledge uh, what's being brought into fruition here your fulfillment you know being challenged here we have the earth element which talks about being grounded and having a solid foundation uh, you can be an earth sign or have earth um, you know highly aspected in your chart here then we have the ninth house which talks about your spirituality your wisdom Again, being wise, uh, learning your spirituality, um, you know, long journeys, because this is a long journey. It's an adventure here. Uh, your, your rituals that you do, uh, what laws do you abide by? Um, and it also speaks of foreign travel or, you know, traveling. You could be traveling too as well here and check with signing in your uh, ninth house. You could be a Capricorn, but this speaks of, um, again, a lot is repeating, but, you know, being resourceful, being wise, being disciplined, being patient, uh, being practical. We have Virgo here, 
witchy type character, being a perfectionist, uh, having things in order, being very insightful, being that alchemist, um, using your alchemy and spells for your health too as well, being very humble and responsible, uh, paying attention to detail. Uh, you could be on social media too as well here. Um, check your third house that talks how you communicate with others too. Uh, siblings, neighborhood people, you know, friends, uh, talks about your thoughts, uh, things about your early education and social activities here. So you could be a Virgo, you could be a Capricorn, you could have, um, you know, earth highly expected in your chart. You don't have to be these signs, you could be any sign or these signs can be within your chart. So it's very important for you to look up your chart and look into it and learn about yourself. Okay, we have here, I am a teacher. So you are a teacher, you are spiritually rich, you are protected and you are infinite and say those things to yourself. Start with saying, I am a teacher. I am spiritually rich. I am protected. I am infinite. There, you're very powerful in what you say and um, your thoughts and your interpretations of things uh, can come into manifestation. So keep telling yourself these things and have positive affirmations for yourself. And then we have songs that you can listen to is Jill Scott, Golden, Erica Badu, The Healer, Josephine Clark, The Great Escape, Tupac, Only God Can Judge Me. You know, I, only Yahweh can judge me, but when you look it up, only God can judge me. Um, it could be something within the song title that can resonate for you or something within the song lyrics that could be a message to you. 